What's up guys, Evil Deer here, welcome back to the channel. So, I want to give you an update on my master plan moving forward. <laughs> probably noticed I've been dropping videos a lot more regularly recently. I started with an Esperanto video, then hit you with an English video, then hit you with an Esperanto video, because I now have a plan. See, in the past, when I did that whole uh, poll on my YouTube channel asking you guys what did you like and dislike about my channel, pretty much everyone said that they didn't like the fact that I was just not regularly doing things, I was just doing things at random times. So now I have a schedule, that's what I've decided to do. I'm going to drop videos, and this is according to Australian time, feel free to like translate to your local time. Uh, basically, I'm going to drop videos on a Friday night at 9pm and on a Sunday night at 9pm. The Friday night video will always be an Esperanto video, so it will be an Esperanto, and the Sunday night video will always be an English. And then in the future, I plan to drop one on a Wednesday night, which will actually be in Chinese. And that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. See, I have been learning Chinese on and off, on and off, on and off, for like years now. She's been waiting for me all these years. She's never taken another Lover. In fact, I have so many books on Chinese that I, I could turn them into a mountain. Look at this, I I've got Chinese verbs, I've got basic Chinese patterns, I've got Chinese characters, more Chinese characters, integrated Chinese, Chinese pronunciation, Chinese, Chinese, oh god. Too many books. And I think that's what the problem has been. I've been approaching Chinese like a traditional language learning model as opposed to how I approached Esperanto. See, this is the funny thing. When I learned Esperanto, I didn't learn how to learn languages. Like, I just kind of went out and did it. I feel happy. And then I started translating, like, things that I wanted to say into the language. And if you go check out my earliest video... <laughs> I literally memorized everything that I said in that video and I was just like slowly saying things and I was stuttering and I had terrible pronunciation. But that's how I got so good and so full into Esperanto. I just started dropping videos regularly in Esperanto and then more and more frequently to the point where I was just able to express everything that I wanted to say in my life. Now the problem with all these books is they teach things like, you know, going to an airport or like checking in at a hotel. Words that are just out of date. Like this one here, I think this one or one of the others, it teaches xiao jie. In the past meant miss, but in modern Chinese just literally means prostitute. So you don't want to make that mistake. So this is how I'm going to correct it. And this is what I'm doing moving forward. I am going to start dropping videos in Mandarin Chinese vlogs where I do funny stories or I talk about something just like I do in Esperanto, and at first they're going to be terrible, my pronunciation's going to be awful, uh, I'm probably going to be stuttering a lot, and they're going to be wide apart because it's going to take me time to learn all the words I need. And I've already planned out my first one. I wrote out basically a, a rough outline of what I wanted to say in that video, and I'm going to talk about how I discovered Esperanto. I'm going to talk about all that in Chinese. Because I thought, you know, I talk about Esperanto a lot, so why not do that, but in Chinese? So that's what I'm going to do. I've written out the speech, I passed it on to my wife, she translated it, I got it back, I looked at it, and about 80% of the words I didn't know. <laughs> So that's what I've been doing over the last few days, is I've literally been memorizing all the words that I will be needing to perform this speech. If you have a look here in my Anki deck, I have uh, Chinese vlogging, and then I've got how I learned Esperanto, and I've got words and sentences. Because obviously there are sentence structures that I've just never encountered before, there's words that I've never encountered before, and I'm actually really enjoying this process because I'm going out and learning and memorizing these words, then I'm practicing saying this. Now this isn't just going to be a speech where I just regurgitate everything. This will still be a vlog where I sit down and I kind of just say it in the moment. I know all the words and grammar I will need to express what I want to say in this particular vlog. And depending on how this goes, then hopefully in another two weeks I'll drop another Chinese one and then I'll slowly get better and better because I'll have that working vocabulary of my life and I'll be able to start just saying things more and more in Chinese. So if you guys are excited to join me on this journey see how I go just let me know in the comments below so like this video sub to this channel share it around and I'll see you all in the next video and if you're not there I will use this very large pile of Chinese grammar books which I have come to the conclusion are basically no use for me to bash you over the head with them